I'm Rob Stocklosa, Application Engineer with TPM on Raleigh, North Carolina. For those of you that have set up computational domains, you'll see in this picture that our pressure gradients really have been left off the computational domain screen. In this NACA airfoil that I simply imported, it's a standard airfoil from a NASA site, I wanted to discuss the process that I typically go through to understand what that domain should look like so that I capture those pressure gradients properly. I'm going to choose external analysis and for this particular one I'm just doing a low level uh, test study to understand those pressure gradients. So I'm going to keep things pretty simple, uh, not over complicating the study, not including things like humidity, and we're just going to give it a standard 100 foot per second velocity for the free stream flow. We can see that the domain SOLIDWORKS comes up with does encapsulate our model, but does it encapsulate and will it gather those pressure gradients that we mentioned earlier? Of course I have the capability to adjust the computational domain in an explicit value or freehand like I'm doing here. So for the first test, I usually just get that domain really big, much bigger than anything it should ever require to gather those pressure gradients. On the first test study, as I mentioned, I'm keeping the mesh at a pretty low resolution. However, I will initiate one refinement throughout the process. So here, of course, we have our preview of the mesh and that profile of the wing. And you can see that coarse resolution on our mesh. At this point, I'm just going to watch the iterations and wait for pressures to start to kind of find where they belong. Right around here, and at this point, I've manually initiated the refinement button. This tells the program to refine those cells. I'll let it continue on a little bit more and usually within a minute or two for some simple goals I'll have some convergence and I can take a look at the results. If you have the time and the computer processing power available I'd probably recommend maybe one or two more refinements throughout the process. And you can see the convergence just about there we go. Back in SOLIDWORKS, let's take a look at what that pressure gradient looks like. Uh, do know that most likely you're going to have to adjust your pressure plots to understand uh, where exactly the domain is computing. But you can see here very clearly now I have a better understanding as to the extent that that domain is required to capture all the pressures without adjusting my results. And that's really what I'm after here. And of course from that point I could refine that computational domain so that when I do my final study I'm really focusing on what's important. I'm Rob Stocklosa for TPM. Have a great day.